Before we begin, if you want to learn more, visit prague.works slash Jonathan40 to get 40% off an annual on-demand learning subscription and have access to over 100 different classes. Now onto the video. Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here from Pragmatic Works. For this video, we're going to focus on a SharePoint list, specifically a managed metadata column type. For this specific data type, what we're going to be able to do is set up a way to connect uh, different columns together that have that internal connection where one's essentially a lookup to another to have like sub list and things organized for ourselves so that it's much easier for our users to go ahead and point to a specific value, a specific item that's related to something else on that list. Rather than going in through a choice column like most of us work with, Setting up a managed metadata type really makes it much, much easier for your end user and just simpler to see in the end. So let's jump right in and see exactly what we're going to build. All right, so here we are at our SharePoint site and list that I'd like to go ahead and build out this managed metadata column in. Now, for the purpose of this little demo that I have, what I really want to be able to do is make it just easier for my users to go ahead and fill out this category and item section for their office orders. As you come in here, you'll notice that for each of the items that we have, there is a category that they belong to. Essentially, we have a mini lookup here within our structure. And these related fields are really the best use cases for our managed metadata. So that when I come in and add a new item, the idea is I don't want to have to worry about coming into this category and choosing, say, technology, and then by mistake, choosing one of the items that don't belong to that category. This is really good for other use cases like manufacturer and product. And again, we're really focusing on fields that are alike in this case that are related so that we can you know, have them directly connected. So we wanna be able to circumvent any errors like this where we're choosing a category of technology and seeing you know, a blue pen. So what I wanna do here is set up this manage metadata field to make it much easier to work with. So part of this is knowing where to go. You can come in and choose add column here on your list and then scroll down to the bottom and choose your manage metadata. However, you need to have things built before you're actually adding that here to your list. So what we need to do is actually go in and create a value inside of our term store. We need to establish the term store for our site. To do that, we need to go into our site information. The site information is located up here in our settings, this little gear icon in the top right. And from there, we can go in and select the site information. Once we click on that, You'll see this little panel here that pops up. We wanna be able to see all of the site settings. So let's go down here to the bottom and view all site settings. All right, so here inside of our site settings and our SharePoint site, what we really wanna focus on is over here in our web designer galleries and on the site columns. The site columns is where we can, you can see here, manage the collection of columns and define the values for them. So once I click on that, you can see all of our base columns, the core columns that are available for all of the lists inside of the site. So what we want to do is at the very top, select create. When we choose create, this is where we can go ahead and establish our column name. This column name that we have for ourselves is going to be a manage metadata type. And then once we do that, you'll see it does change some of the inputs that we have for this once you select manage metadata. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is call this column. In this case, we'll do a combination of our category and item that we had on our, our list already. So we'll just call it category slash item, okay? Now, because we have our manage metadata, you could see here, we could put this site column into an existing group, our columns, or create a new group. I'm gonna keep it as such within our existing group. We don't have to do too much here. We can put a description in here if we want. Okay, but what we really want to be able to do as we scroll down here is that we want to ensure that come on down, we can have inside of our display value, okay, display the entire path to the term in field. This will allow us to find essentially that lookup that comes with it so we can do all of that work. Okay, so there we have display there. The next piece that we want to work with 
is to come in here and customize our term set. This is where we can take, there's our title category item, and then we can come in and add in the hierarchy fields that we are working with. So I can come in, I'll select create term, and the first one will be our first category. I'll go ahead and set our category for technology. Click away, and then we can come in here and do another one. So I'll create another term. The second one that we have, again, I'm matching our list, furniture, And our last one, office supplies. So we have our three categories that we're defining. Now, if we go and focus on each individual one, as I'll, I'll just zoom in on this for us, go into each individual one, we just select the category and then expand that and create a term inside of it. So we're just adding more features for each of these inside of a, a hierarchy. So as we go through, we're just gonna fill out all of these for each one that we have. All right, so now that we have them all set up, you can see we have our, our different categories with each individual item inside of them in our hierarchy. What we can now do is allow this to go ahead and be used on our list. So uh, once we have all of these done here, and you can also include allow fill in choices so people to add their very own on this term set. Once we have all of these done, we can just click okay. We now have this established for us so we can select OK and go back to our list. And we should now be able to see that term set on our list to add in as our metadata, our managed metadata column. Go back to our office orders. And now we can go ahead and add a column. This column will be our managed metadata type. I can select it here, choose next. We can have our name here, whatever we want. So maybe it just be item in this case. And you can see here in the, once we choose the manage metadata, we can then select which term set or term we're going to use. So I'll come in here, select, and we should have within our new collection, our category item established. So this is part of the specific type site we're working on. You can see there it is, and I can hit save. Now we have the ability to go in and utilize all those values here when we're filling out this specific column. So maybe I'll just put this as category item for the sake of this time here, category slash item, so we can see both of them together and then hit save. All right, so let's go add a new item and we can come in here, I'll put our department as admin, I'll put myself here as our name, I could choose a category, I could choose an item, I don't want to mess up. So like if I chose office chair by mistake, not great leading to some bad data, because obviously they don't connect here. But now what we can see here for our category item, instead of just choosing one or the other, we can actually come in and look over on the far right hand side, and we can add a tag, which will now look at our hierarchy here and pull in the category items that we want. So I can choose, okay, we have our office apply, blue pens, I can select that, hit okay. And now we're only selecting that value there. We can go like this, we can even search for, uh, let's say we wanna do a standing desk. There it is, it's in furniture, you saw that there. Now I can save it and I never have to worry about where it's being associated. I don't have to worry about this mismatch of data like I had here, making sure each one is available. I want that each time over here. So by doing it like this, we're able to come in and make it just easier to work with our data. In fact, I can update this here and I can go to my previous one, come to my item here and I can say, all right, curved monitor. Oh, there it is. I can just search for it. It's in our technology. There we have it. So I can just update each of the items like that. And now it's just better for our user to just point to the exact value. We know what category it's listed in. This management of data is great for us here to replace choice columns. So as you can see, building out a column with a data type of managed metadata is actually quite simple to do here inside of SharePoint. All we need to be able to really understand is to go into the term store and build inside of that. 
when we build out our managed metadata there, it's gonna be accessible on all of the lists that we create here for SharePoint. So we can access that same categorized or hierarchy uh, value that we have from one list to another. Again, the whole point here is to make it as easy as possible for the end user and using these managed metadata types rather than simple choice columns in many ways is the best way to go. Now remember, this has a little bit of implications when trying to work with Power Automate. However, it's really not that much more difficult. We just have a few more steps that we need to do inside of our workflow when working with lists that have these managed metadata columns. Thanks for joining me here once again, taking a look at managed metadata column types in SharePoint. If you like this video and every other video that we have and you want to just see more from us here at Pragmatic Works, please go ahead and drop a like below. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more content for myself and every last one of us here for you.